hi thank you for clicking to watch this video so i'm starting off with washing my extensions and this is important whether you're washing new extensions or previous hair that you already had installed before i've already installed this hair before so this is just me reusing this hair um, i'm mainly doing it for the video and because the hair is kind of good quality is not the best but it's working right now so I'm basically shampoo and conditioning then combing it out and then I hang it up to dry and while it's drying I start to part my hair the hair that I'm going to leave out sometimes I leave out a full perimeter if I want to be able to put my hair in a ponytail but for right now I'm just leaving out the top because I like a middle part and then my sides because I like to um, do braids um, and like put my hair back into a ponytail so this is enough hair for that So when I start braiding, I make sure that I'm braiding down away from my leave out and as close to my side leave out as possible. Um, here is, I'm just slowing it down so that I can show you how I put the previous braid into the next one. So I'm going to be braiding this all the way around my head. and. This is good too, like if you were going to do a full perimeter because this way, you know, if you want to put your hair up in a ponytail, um, you could do that and it would go smoothly into the ponytail. I'm showing how I switch hands. So... I only do this in the front of my head where I braid like underneath I think it is and then I go over so that I can add a braid and it just makes it easier to braid it like this and then I just keep going down and I do this over my entire head that was another switch I switch um, to braid faster to the tips always braid all the way down to the tip because when you're adding braids into the hair you don't want your braid to be fat the flatter your braid like the flatter that your tracks can lay um honestly it doesn't matter how you braid your hair like your braids can look like bougie but as long as they're flat that's all that matters um you don't have to braid it like this either you can do all straight back braids I just like to make sure that whatever is around my leave out that it's flat and then here is where I bring all the braids together so from one side to the other side um, I put one in and then I braid like a few times and then I put the other one in just so that it's not a big bulk like big and bulky and then I braid that all the way down make sure you're squeezing that braid in there because by the time you get to this point like it's so tight that sometimes like you can't get the full braid in and then braid that to the tip and then once that's at the tip i like to tuck my braid i don't sew it because that's just extra cutting possibly cutting it on here and then that's how my braids look sometimes they look different they never look the same each time and then i'm going to begin sewing my hair in so Make sure that it's even, you tie a knot into it. And then after that is when you want to cut off any excess so that it's not sticking out. So I cut that off. And then this part is probably confusing. Everybody don't put their needle through their thread, but I do. I recorded it because I knew I was gonna be explaining it. It just add extra support and then I start sewing it down um, when I'm doing my first perimeter I always start at the top of my leave out and I go around and I under I sew underneath the braid and the closer you sew your tracks together like I from experience like the longer it'll last and sewing close to your tracks um, helps prevent you pulling up hair um sometimes like if you go too far out then the the hair on the track it'll like pull up with the thread and then you have like 
gaps and spaces in between your threading. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm just showing how I do that. Um, I can't really explain how I'm doing this. Like I kind of do a knot. So basically I put the thread through my braid and then I like put it through the thread. But it's, it was hard for me to get it. I couldn't really get it. So, but yeah, it doesn't matter how you do it, honestly. As long as you're threading close together, then your trap should be secure. And then always secure it at the end with um, either knotting it. Um, you don't have to knot it if you don't want to, but always knot it. If you don't um, want to knot, you can just keep going. Um, but if you run out of thread, then you'll have to knot it. Continue sewing until you get all the way to the top. I flip it over. I was sort of trying to show how I do it when I flip it over, but I couldn't really get it fully on camera. I just sew the needle through and then I like wrap it three times and then I pull, wrap the thread around the needle two, three times and then I pull it. And then I try to get my tracks as close to my leave out as possible. So, yeah, so then basically that's it. How to get your hair to be flat and so that, you know, like your tracks aren't really detectable. It's all about having flat braids and about um, taking your time and filling, especially when you do your own hair. It's all about like filling, making sure that you aren't sewing too far away. And that's it.